Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Yulia and Tasha in Crusade Kings 3 with the Prince of Darkness mod. And last episode we grew quite a bit and it was not from conquest believe it or not. We were just gifted a bunch of duchies. Like we were maybe half this size when we started. So I don't know why because well we are rivals. He does kind of like us. But we're still rivals, so I was, I'm surprised we got this much, but I guess that's like du jour uh, duchies in East Francia. So I'm not gonna complain, I'm just a little bit confused. But we are currently uh, ghoulifying Tiberius Macedonian over here, who uh, is, he was a lowborn that uh, wanted to become a knight, so we gave him a, gave him a chance. So we're gonna make him a little bit better by making him a ghoul and then we're gonna find a spouse and maybe someone with a some physical traits and we can have a really nice long line of ghouls and revenants with like strong physical traits. And we have a long list of stuff that we can do. Okay, we don't care about that, we don't care about that. Um, we might care about that. Actually, we wanna keep <laughs> Harold Settler because he's a sicko. Like, he's the serial killer variant of of um, vampires in World of Darkness. And, like, that's saying something, considering the other vampires are, quote-unquote, normal. So, yeah, he's a sicko, and I want to keep an eye on him. Although, this guy. Uh, we can grant some little count. Actually, he's got quite a bit of levies and bowmen and shit. But we can grant him to our uh, son, which I guess wouldn't be too bad because we're not getting full money out of him anyway because he we are not his um, his rightful leash. So we're just going to grant him. And we are not granting um, Settler to anyone because I want to keep an eye on him. These guys want a seat on council, but you're not getting it. And... You are actually not bad. You are better than our current chancellor. And he is our son. So there's a lot of positives there. So I think... I think we can make... Still have him be okay with us. And grant this lady the chancellorship. And I think she'll be happy with us. So... That's going to give us a little bit extra diplomacy. She's positive. And what about our son? Let's see, who was that? It was... It was our son, right? It was this guy. I think. Yeah, well, all our children are fine with us, so... No worry. We can de declare a bunch of wars, but we're not going to do that right now. Family members can be married. Ooh, that, that's something we got to do. So, our son needs to marry. And we're going to do it for an alliance. And not someone in our own kingdom. How about you? You are Friuli. That's in Italy, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a pretty fine one. No, wait, that's not the one. Um... Alliance power. There's Friuli. These are nice, but I mean, I think since we're <laughs> since we are vampires, most people are are kind of um, related somehow. Since I mean, it's not a big family tree. And right, our other son can also marry. So let's see if we can get some good alliances with. That, we don't care about that box. Where is that? Okay, somewhere in the Balkans. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And that was this one. Yep, do it. Get me an alliance, boy. You're my child. You're only here for an alliance. So be a good boy and... Go off to the Balkans and hand me an alliance. My husband, King Ven Venzel Rickard, are, surrounds himself with good people. Bolsku is an example of what good taste my husband has in friends. Okay. 
And why is he such a good friend? Whatever. I wouldn't say he's not even a good uh, physician. Like he's got learning zero. Seems like he has terrible taste in uh, employees at least. But we lose some stress. We don't have any stress, but at least we lost some. And there we go. Now we've finished ghoulifying our ghoul friend. Good. So with that, we are gonna. We can actually let time pass a little slowly here. Uh, we're gonna manipulate ghouls. You. No. Not like that. We are gonna find you a spouse. And see if we can find some with good traits. Ooh, giant is fun. Get some prowess and also looks awesome. Uh, scaly, no. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Amazonian. That's a good one. Although that comes in levels. Um, let's keep looking. Because I am still... I do like giants just because... I mean, giants are awesome. Oh, um, let's uh, see. Traits, inheritable. That's better. So the Amazonian is good. We don't care that they're pretty or anything like that. Although it does give fertility boost, which is nice. But, I mean, if there were beautiful and a giant and Amazonian, then maybe. But for now, I think we're just going to go with giant. I like the giant more. And wait, why isn't that in? Why isn't the giant in the inheritable? It should be. Yeah. Weird. I guess because it's not considered a positive trait. I think that's why. Okay. Send proposal. And. What is this? I have corresponded with your Chancellor Practitioner. I must say that I have come to see you in a new light. Perhaps you are even someone I, I one day would be proud to call my friend. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, let's let some time pass. Excellent. Oh, right. Um, once again, ma min manipulate Ghoul. And we are gonna Ghoulify her as well. Because I hope that that increases the odds of getting revenants. Because that's what we're after. And what? You didn't say unlock tis ours. Oh, okay. I'm okay with having extra diplomacy. And the benign Julia Antasia. I called it an honor of our alliance. Join me in the war against the tyranny of King... What? Oh, I'm being called on the side of the tyrant, <laughs> then I guess. Because that's a weird way of phrasing that, dude. Like, don't don't call it the war against the tyr tyranny of King Vensel Rickard when you're King Vensel Rickard. That's, that's weird. But yes, I will accept. Exotic arms, along along with their strange goods, merchant brings tall tales from distant lands, unverifiable, full of wonder. A, a group of Bavarian peddlers support uh, support to have brought Beya objects that have come from the faraway court of a great ruler, Mag Magai Magaji, Sheshawai Gined, no less. Okay, that is hard to pronounce, and I'm absolutely sure I did not pronounce that right. Rich guard, uh, the leading trader, grins darkly. This unique armor could be yours, for a special price, of course. Great proconsul. A likely yarn indeed. If only I had some way of verifying the hawker's story. Okay, so... Um, so we can get Clan Ravno's mail. For 95 gold. Let's do it. Nice. Um, so that should be like equipable. Oh, we have, we have a sword. That is, that is awesome. Lulu's sword and R Ravno's mail. Doesn't seem to be a very like impressive mail, but we do get some prestige, some prowess, prowess. So I'm fine with it. 
So, oh right, uh, we should raise our troops. And let's see, do you you seem to maybe need some help? So let's send your send our army down there and maybe slow down a little bit. After careful preparation and planning, you were able to recruit this mortal as your ghoul thrall. Excellent. So, get to making babies. And, hmm, you're actually not a horrible fighter. I think you might actually be able to be a, a uh, champion. But not like this guy, like 28. And I don't even think he's in my, like, top 10. Yeah, there he is. So I think he's just about ekes out to be able to be a champion. So that's cool. And actually, to save some money, uh, once you stop, oh stop, oh come on, fine, go over there. Let's just, oh, ow, that's not, that's what I meant to do. Let's take out the the man at arms, so we still make some money. And just stand there with bodies and knights. That's fine. We only need uh, bodies and knights. And we should be able to do this just fine. Michael Scott. He is uh, pretty good learning. Decent stewardship and decent diplomacy. The science advisor and the court astrologer of Emperor Frederick II is a strange Englishman named Michael Scott. This evidently learn learned individual is often accused of black magic since he seems to know more about the inner workings of the world than anyone should. As far as you can tell though, he is not possessed by any supernatural force. Yet, his knowledge of heaven and God is, is of special interest of you. A being cursed by the creator himself and you wonder if Scott could be an asset in this endeavor. Separating him from the emperor's court and faking his death as an accident wouldn't be easy. But it is in your power. So we can't really pay for him to come over here. But we are making a lot of prestige. Which is excellent. So do we want to sire this guy? He is pretty good. Like he has great learning. And we could use a better uh, court chaplain. I mean he's not even a um, powerful vassal. So it wouldn't cost us anything to just get rid of him. So I think we might actually want to do that. Yes. Oh, I thought that was Michael Scott. Um, some nobody. So we can make them forget, but that that has a chance of uh, costing hunger. And whoa, what happened to our exposure? Oh dear. Um, cover up masquerade and. Uh, Let's see. We can make them forget. That uh, will cause hunger, most likely. And it is guaranteed to reduce. We can just kill them all, which will cost us stress, but that's okay. Pretty good chance that we actually get wo wounded, which uh, wouldn't be great. And we could increase. And I will be their god. They shall not expose my secrets. Which uh, is also guaranteed to reduce, but will cause... So these are basically the same, but with different odds. Okay, so let's... Let's just be their god, I guess. Cover up the masquerade. And... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we can risk getting exposed and that's just fine because we don't want to spend a bunch of blood hey we didn't get exposed anymore good and music it's just too loud yeah hunt these down seriously come back here there we go one down next one so we got some okay nine prestige and 43 pre prestige, not bad. So, I guess just start sieging stuff. Good. Okay, so now there's no music at all. That is, this is very annoying. <laughs> like, sometimes the music is incredibly loud. Sometimes it's just fine. And now they don't even want to play any music. 
or there is music but it's so low that you can't hear it so I don't know hey you really need to do something about that but let's just speed mood of the clans as a as a powerful ruler of the night, you are constantly judged by the various clans of the undead society. Those that you haven't favored with pr uh, primogen seat are considered marginalized in your court. Well, nobody has that yet. I can't afford it. Perhaps because their political insignificance in your realm, or simply because uh, your current f uh, fancy. In any case, you can now feel the mood of the clans towards your rules shifting. So everyone is mar marginalized, but... I mean, I can't afford it. Look at this. It costs fucking 0.68 every month. We're making, uh, well, with the levies up 1.2, 1, 1 but I think we make like 2.4. We can't afford these. So stop being pissy, you bastards. You can't be marginalized when no one is... Uh, oh, Michael Scott has an alchemy inspiration. Well, you can't be marginalized when everyone is marginalized. That just means you, everyone is being poorly treated, I guess. In the past few days, neighboring Duchess Helen has been visiting my court on her way to a, some holy site or something. Since her arrival, she has been outshining me with her generosity towards my own courtiers, who have all been lapping up her gold with no dignity. I can't help but scoff when I see her surrounded by adorning courtiers for the umpteenth time my courtiers a purse for you good Sergi sergius and some coin for you also kind antonia remember riches are meant to be shared you bitch i'm not gonna be more generous uh, i should take advantage of her silly generosity too oh <laughs> we can make her pay us a little bit of money i believe helen is o has overstayed her welcome or Better her spending than me. So who are you? Oh, you're um, a course of love lady. And uh, yeah, we don't care about that. So I believe it's time for her to leave. I don't care if, do if she dislikes me. We get some, uh, some prestige from it. So that's fine. And oh, is everyone just being attacked all the time by their own people? If I can get your, get your land in order. Stop being overthrown. Hey, court level four, excellent. So, are you winning? How's our war score from battles? Okay, so if we go kill these bastards, we're probably gonna just win this war instantly. Oh, stand still. Oh, did we did we win? Elizabeth of Hungary. Uh, she wasn't that good. A minor rival of yours recently made move against Conrad von Marburg, a renowned inquisitor of erstwhile mentor of the recently departed Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. The fool was crushed, but the aftermath is messy, with trails leading to more clues about Canite's conspiracy. One of those is a young woman, another pupil of the inquisitor, who witnessed in first hand the gifts of Cain. Making her disappear would make uh, cause suspicion, but could be useful both as a, as a strike against the Inquisition and a potential embrace candidate. Strangely, strangely enough, the woman is also named Elizabeth and seems close to the age of uh, age the saint should have been at this point. Perhaps Conrad has the secret of it of his own. I don't think we care. Yeah, we don't care. And okay. What the sh... Again? We just won this war! Oh my god. You... Are you just incompetent? Oh shit, there's people everywhere! <laughs> just... Get them! Okay. So, we won that war. And we instantly started another. Well, we didn't start it. But someone did. And there is a lot of people around. And we also... Um, we're gonna go and ghoulify, what's his face? Michael Scott, the mage of what? Mage of mathematics. He's a mathematician. Excellent. Okay, so let's just embrace him. 
I think that's going to be good because he has very good learning and decent stewardship and all that. So we can make him a lord of something and um, make him a chancellor. No, not chancellor. The hell is the priest called? The priest is a chaplain. Wrong ch sound. Okay. Did we have anyone we want to marry off? No, we already did that. Right? Yes. 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 We did that. Okay, so keep fighting our... Well, our husband's war. You best be doing something good. Times when people change. Sometimes those who are the closest to us seems to become strangers. Proconsul Julia Antasia. My grandson, Senator Giselle, smiles sadly. I feel like there's no friendship left between us. But remember the good times. Okay, um... You are gonna be mad because we are... Not friends anymore. He feels marginalized like every other vampire. Apparently I marginalize vampires all across the board. Because I don't give seats to fucking everyone even though I can't afford it. Stupid assholes. But remember the good old time. Oh. No, we're still not friends. Family's family. A family reunion... Oh, go away. A family re reunion is quite a rare occurrence in the canine circle, mostly due to the fact that it could devolve into a slaughter at any moment. Unfortunately, you have been chosen as the host for the next gathering, which means lots of vampires and lots of suspicion drawn, upon drawn to you. You could cancel the event, certainly everyone would understand, but, do, but going along with it would, uh, would be a palpable show of confidence on your part. So, I'm not feeling it. Would 100% chance of max masquerade exposure decrease, which would be nice. Um, and this would make everyone happy with us. But a masquerade exposure will increase. I mean, I don't think we have any problem with opinion right now. And it's not like they will lose opinion of me. So I think I'm not feeling it. We're going to get the masquerade decrease. And I feel like it's time to go and hunt. Oh, wait. Oops. And... Wait. Aren't you under attack? Why are you declaring more wars? Come on. That's... That's stupid. Why are you so stupid? Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna help you, but I'm not gonna stop you, I guess. Okay, so there's a lot of wars going... Oh, and are you marching on my lands? Or is that the war we are having with these guys? I think it is, actually. Okay. So... I guess unpause again. Good. And which war is which now? This this is the aggressive war that we don't care about. And wait, which this one is the the war on our husband that we essentially already won. We just need to siege stuff now. And I just want to dis disband my army so we can make more money. But at least we're getting. Uh, Oh, oh, ah, there we go. At least we're getting... Maybe we shouldn't fight on max speed. That seems like a bad idea. At least we're getting some prestige from this, because we, we're we making good prestige. There we go. Now we get to kill him. Oh, the embrace. We need to feed, right. That was, was the thing we were going to do. I guess uh, we... Uh, we do this, and then we'll feed. I have orchestrated events so that Michael Scott has fallen within my clutches. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna make him a vampire. And get some stress because we're compassionate. Oh, actually, we fed on him, I guess. So we're fine. Never mind. I forgot that was a thing. Uh, your new child is taking his first tentative steps into the night. Now experienced enough to understand how to feed, it will soon be time to begin a formal education, which will be very important for his future, but also for your relationship. What will your approach be? Um, he can figure it out on his own. He's a smart guy. He's a mathematician. 
Um, okay, so the Holy War is restarted, I guess. It was invalidated, but then it stopped. Will you stop attacking everyone and calling me into every single war you have? You piece of shit. An education, steward child. Michael Scott has been enterprising his since it, enterprising since his embrace. He has outlined several projects to add outliers regions to your influence, and now people to bribe to make sure they, that it stays hidden. You are considered pushing the eager neonate further into this d direction, or using his insight on such matter right now. So we can make him way better at being steward. Or make him pretty good at making our buildings cheaper. But I don't think cheaper buildings is going to be too important. I do like ha him having better skills. Because that means we can make him a steward or something. Or just better when if we make him a duke or something like that. Oh, I'm happy with that. Speaking of building stuff, let's ignore that pop-up for just a second. Frankfurt. We are gonna... We can't... This is the church. Yeah. So we can upgrade this. And it will give a bunch more taxes. Let's do that. While I remember. So far your child has followed your faith. Mostly because you said so. Obviously though. He is far from understanding the inner workings of the beast. And how to deal with it. You will have taken some time to start this part of the teachings. Or hire some learned practitioner of the road to help your progeny along. Um, so we are really going to want him to like, have uh, the Eternal Senate as a religion. Because uh, that's, if he's not of our faith, he can't be our chaplain. So I think... That is exactly going to have a, uh, give us a break. But maybe that's okay. Because we gain, gain a bunch of piety, but I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend too much money, you see. So... Maybe... Hmm. Maybe we grab... Let's just do the stress. We'll see if we get any... Any stress reduction um, traits that we think is fitting. The first level isn't too bad. Okay, I don't think... Oh, I don't like any of these. I don't want to lower our income more than it already is. Because we already is generous. And I re kind of don't want to be a flagellant. Because I don't want to keep getting wounded so i guess i guess take the stress hit and hope we can get some stress reduction so distrust of a friend i, I feel sh uh, a sharp twinge of jealousy in my chest as i look over to the source of laughter it f it feels it, it's a feeling known to me yet unlike me to feel this way i know i ought to be thankful that our guest wenzel I don't know who that is, appears to be getting along with Michael Scott. But there's something in how the two interact that worries me. Their smiles are the kind of uh, that lifelong friends or devoted lovers share. They unabashedly act as if they are the only ones in the room, blithely leaving me out of their conversations. Just what is their relationship? And should I do something about it? So, I don't see why I would care. He's an un unlanded mortal with no no claims or anything so I mean I guess just stay out of it I, I don't care when can we hold court in one year oh neat. drifting apart but but no remember the good old times yeah so he's he wants to end our friendship again, so just remember the good old times. A faithful child. Your child has easily adopted your own tenants as, as his faith are pleased by the progress shown so far and expect nothing more than continued improvement. 
As a successful teacher, you also attain deeper understandings thanks to your shared experience. Hey, more piety. Nice. Oh, and we killed someone. Excellent. So, let's just start sieging then. The presentation. Just behave yourself. He seems just fine. Oh, and since he's done, kind of, um, we're going to make him a chaplain. I mean, we don't need that much more piety, but it doesn't hurt to have some extra. Oh, and we also have the inspired. So, that, oh, that is expensive. Um, so what exactly is he trying to do? Alchemy inspiration. Okay, so it doesn't say what it is he's making though. Okay, well, we don't have a thousand gold lying around, so sorry Scott, that's not happening. And we should really have maxed out battles, and we have, good. So we just need to do some sieges. A flawless education. Every, everything about your child's presentation went very well. Even above your expectation, your vassals were impressed by your new progeny and even more impressed by your, uh, your qualities as a sire. This will re reflect well on you for some time. Oh, excellent. So, flawless presentation gives us... Ooh, vassal opinion. That's pretty nice. We got a very good child over here. And just don't see me. I don't want you to. Okay, so you have done what you could. Your child has learned the ways of your condition. Blah, blah, blah. It's it's all good. He might be a foe or a friend or whatever. And you... Uh, who are you? You are some... Some lower lord down here that... I don't know who you are. Why Why are we allied? I don't know what our connection is. Did I marry someone off to you or... Something. Oh, it's my cousin. <laughs> That's why. Um, who are you fighting? Uh, just some dude. Yeah, okay. I guess we're in the area. Might as well. So we're just gonna hang out here fighting forever. Are you winning? No, it seems like you're getting your ass... No, wait. Wrong order. Oh, no. Actually, it does seem like... Why is the red getting bigger when the blue is winning? This doesn't make any sense. Oh. Who the shit are you? Okay, some rando over here fighting some rando over here. Fine, whatever. Stop fighting everyone. Can't everyone just get along? This is getting really annoying. I'm in so many wars and I haven't started any of them. And most of them... Are in Eastern Lords. Hey, one one. That's good. Let's kill this bastard. Come on, stay. Come back here, you bastard. I just want to kill you. Don't worry. Nothing's gonna happen to you except death. The hunter hunted. For some time now, you your entourage is bu a buzz. With rumors of mortal hunting canines around your area. Obviously, mortals have little luck in this endeavor, most of the time, especially when they go lone wolf road, as this individual seems to do. What is interesting is that, despite all these flaws, this hunter has shown some early success, and many dark alleys are safer because of him. He is elusive though, and you are really unsure of where he will strike next, or even if he will at all. But you could keep agents close to the ground in an attempt to track him down if you wanted. I mean... Yeah, let's see if we can hunt him down. Hunt this vampire hunter. And I just... I just want to kill these guys. It might not be entirely necessary. I'm just sick of hanging out in the Eastern Kingdoms and I just want to kill those bastards. The lone hunter causing a mess around your area is still eluding you, but you have managed to to have at least a general idea of his modus operandi. Uh, with this understanding, you have devised two plans of action to mislead and hopefully capture this individual. Both plans will require you to pull some strength, strings and likely to attract, attract unwanted attention on your operations. You can't back down now though, as it seems that the hunter himself is closing in on your position as well. 
a confrontation is inevitable at this point. And let's... Uh, Okay, either way, we are increasing our exposure. And let's set a trap for him. We're clever, uh, but we are also very strong. But let's just set a trap for him. See if we can do something clever. And now we can kill this bastard. Loyalty or fear? As their proconsul, my vassal owe, owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of, of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such risk? And we can get generous liege. I don't like that. I don't want to... I don't want to uh, pay more taxes or lose more taxes. I want more taxes paid to me. Um, we can make uh, Hardestad like us more, which wouldn't be terrible. Let's do that. Might get some goodies from him. You must confess that you are somewhat nervous. At this time, your agents must be waiting at the old manor you set up as a front to trap the elusive hunter. You know his name now, Karl Schrecht. <laughs> Schrecht, that's a fun name. From Vienna, a lone wolf that, uh, with a drive rarely seen even among his zealous kind. You're fairly confident that you planned your trap well and your men are good enough to subdue him, but... If he were to escape, or worse, kill your men, he could deal a very serious blow to your control over the area. And you would also have lost your only chance of capturing him. And, oh, he is. He's a good character. If we manage to capture him, I'm considering ghouling or, or siring this guy. He is very strong. Okay, so 43% we imprison him, 23 we gain broken authority, but we imprison him, and 33 he leaves. So, come on, 43! Right, shit. Of course we got the worst possible, worst outcome, of course. Why wouldn't we? Okay, so enforce the peace, you bastard. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that to my husband. There we go. Okay, um... Can we just disband? No. We can't disband because we are in... We need to be in friendly area. Right. Are you sieging me? Oh, you bastard. We don't have the men to actually stop that. That is isn't incredibly annoying. Uh, hey, well, our dynasty got some more splendor at least, so that's nice. But, I think... Ooh, they are moving towards us. Let's just keep going inland. I think we're gonna end the episode here, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!